Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a video I found that I edited um, quite a while ago and hadn't yet posted. Um, so this is my quest to see if I can part every single hole out here at the uh, YMCA at the Pines. I'm just going to talk through what it takes to be able to actually accomplish that goal. Uh, this will be the front nine. Looks like I'm playing from the green tees, uh, which is slightly forward from the whites that I usually play. Um, so yeah, selection, commitment are the main focuses in this video. So here I'm just going with a nice, easy five wood, just trying to hit it about 205, 210. Uh, slight breeze into. Catch this a little high on the face. A little bit uh, too much of a fade than what I was looking for. Um, and as I hit that, the wind kind of howled it up. So as you can see, I'm going with another five wood here. It's a 195 back up the hill to an elevated green, plenty of wind into. So I'm trying to hit this high and just absolutely nail the shot I was, I was trying to hit here. Um, I think I left myself about eight feet. Uh, just quick wave there to Rick on the mower. Um, so yeah, this putt definitely moving um, from right to left. I had it about two and a half, three balls outside. Um, just hit this a little too firm through the break and actually left myself a little bit of a, a tester on the way back, but you'll see that here. Um, I think I gave this a little bit of a quick early look as well. Yeah, and that just left it out left it out to the right and never quite um, caught that break. So here, these are the ones, um, these are your round savers. So this is the first hole here for par. I've done really well with that second shot to even give myself a chance there. Um, and then I've tried, I've, you know, let's be honest, I've made hard work of this. But you pick your line. This time I really do keep my head down, pop it through. In she goes. So got away with one really. Uh, onto hole two, par five. Uh, got the big stick out. Uh, I'm just gonna try and power one down there. Hit this really well. Um, it's nice and dry and, and flat on the left side of the fairway here. So I've hit a nice little draw. and got plenty of roll down there. This is just a really good five wood for position. Water comes into play uh, from the left. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with this strike. Put me down there. Didn't have to be too pretty. Just just get it down there. Leave yourself a number. Um, yardage here, I think it's about 85 to 90 yards. Uh, so just going with a little flip sand wedge. It was not a good swing. Um, looked a little bit wristy there. And then I've, you know, I've left myself this 25. 25 footer for birdie again the aim is to just make pars so i've you know i've plotted my way around give myself about a seven out of ten so far for for putting it in the right spots i just hit this absolutely perfect and get a little bonus right there with a birdie so really happy with that um but again just trying to make par no bogeys today no three putts and that's how how you really control your score. If you can go and play a round where you don't have any three putts and you're scrambling really well when you need to, you're leaving that ball in positions, good misses as I would call them, uh, you're gonna be just fine. This wasn't a great swing, uh, pretty common on this hole for me because the angle of the tee box to the green, trouble left, just doesn't suit my eye, but I got it relatively close there and I was happy. So now I'm just looking scramble mode. Get this within a few feet. Let's make a putt and get out. That rolled about a foot and a half further than I thought it was going to. As you can see from the flag, it was a little bit downwind. So as soon as it catches that grain going towards the flag, along with that little bit of breeze, um, you get that. You get those, those chip shots just running a little bit further. Um, and to be honest, I probably missed my landing spot by about six inches, probably hit it about six inches too far. But this again, um, I'm just off camera here, but got this little three and a half footer for par. Um, 
again, head down, trust the line, and just go ahead and knock it in. I'm pretty sure I made this putt, if I can remember rightly. Like I said, this was a while ago. Um, not sure what's taking so long here. Maybe I'll just wait for those guys up on uh, number seven. All right, there we go. All right, good job. Okay, and then on to number four, another par five. It's a three-shotter. Um, any of you who've seen my videos now or played out at the YMCA at the Pines know that this this hole, the green, is surrounded by water. So you're just trying to hit two really nice shots here. Nice wide open. Doesn't matter if you go right is the miss. Here I've cleared the bunkers. I'm a little right. Um, so just go ahead here and just hit this six iron just for position. I want to hit it about 270, 275 and hit it really well. So yeah, in good position. Here I am, I'm probably about 110 away here, looking at this. Um, so just trying to put a really good swing on it and just hooked it left. It's not terrible, it's, it's the shortest part to clear the, the water there. So dry in three, chip and putt. Um, the only, like I say, you got to take the positive sometimes. It wasn't a great swing. I've turned it over, but I'm dry and I've got plenty of green to work with. I've missed it in the right spot. Long, there's two bunkers. And this one, get a little lucky. Just taps the flag. Seems I'm a little frustrated with that one. I think when I hit it, I knew it was carrying some speed, but it was dead on the stick. And I kind of thought it might have dropped. But from that point, routine par, on to the next. Okay, par three. This was playing about... It looks like I'm on the white tees when I'm looking at this, but... Anyway, good swing. It was straight at it. Um, I can't remember. I think this just drifted. Yeah, just drifted a little bit uh, to the right. So I've got this 18-footer just on the fringe. Again, from here, not really looking to hole it. Just making sure I don't do anything stupid, leaving it five foot short or five foot past. There are holes that you just have to take part and be happy. Uh, just snuck that to within, uh, I'm okay with range. Um, not really gonna have too much difficulty with this, but you still have to concentrate on these ones. Keep your head down and just listen for the sound. There you go. So another par. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely playing from the whites. So it wasn't the greens, it was the whites. Because from the greens, I'll take this green on. But from the whites, uh, trees on the right-hand side of me block a path. So this is just a five wood. Bomb it down there. You've got to try and get it past that tree at about 205, 210. This one, it just kind of checked up on the... I think it hit a little high, didn't quite get the bounce forward. So this is... This was actually a really good shot. Little bendy nine iron round the trees and as soon as i hit it i thought it might have gone in landed super soft and i'm driving up here and you can see it's about three feet that i was really happy with that, say that was pretty my aim was to if i was going to miss there just make sure i get shot, the it's the fade quiet. on that approach shot and if i'm a little bit oh, almost where the camera is now chipping and putting i'd have been happy but that's that was a great shot. Um, so yeah, my quest to par every hole, going pretty well so far. As you can see, got this three footer now to go two under through six holes. These are the ones that I'm always confident with when I've hit it this close. I've picked my line, I'm already feeling good. Don't really think about the stroke, just listen for the sound of the ball hitting the cup. Happy days. All right, hole seven, a couple of different things you can do on this hole. I just like to just tee it up and give it a, a good smack. There's no real trouble. I'm long enough to clear the bunkers on the, on the right that you can see there. And this is actually faded quite a bit into number four fairway. So the pin is right between those trees. Uh, I think this looks about like an eight iron, so I'd guess I'm about 140. 48 to 152 away, something like that. And just put a good stroke on it, middle of the green. And this looks like, I can't really remember this one. 
it looked okay. It might have been a little right. Yeah, there you go, a little right. So I'm on the green though, happy with that. And I got a 16 footer for birdie. This one, after coming off that birdie, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm trying to make this. I can remember actually thinking, yeah, see that aggressive stroke there. I'm, I'm really trying to roll, give this a roll. Um, and kind of comes back to bite me in the butt a little bit. Yeah, that's got way too much pace. Uh, so that's gone through about five feet. You can see I'm a little frustrated there. Like that is, in this video, what I'm trying to just make par every single hole and show you where, you know, the correct areas to miss them. This was, that was good putt. I was happy with that. That was one of those ones you wipe your brow and onto the next one. Hole eight, you have to hit it long enough and you have to be right. Left is dead. Uh, with the overhanging tree branches. Uh, I think I was pretty happy with that. Well, that is, well, no, I shouldn't have been. It has gone left, and now I've got major trouble. Um, yeah, I've got no real... The bunkers guard the green. It's elevated. Got that tree in front. That was a pure, I'm going to hit this pitching wedge and believe in the gods that trees are 70% air and got lucky and got it to the left-hand side of the green, chipping back up. This is one that really saves your round. All I'm doing here is focusing on a landing mark. Didn't release uh, like I thought it would. Um, looking at the color of those, that's actually my old clubs and looking at the color of that grip, I had different colors for my different clubs. That was my 54 degree wedge. Um, so yeah, just snagged up a little bit. So I got this five footer for par. Um, when I hit, I remember when I hit that chip. Actually, I thought it was just needed that that one bounce forward, and then the check. Um, and I think it would have been a good shot. So again, a little frustrating at this point because I I felt like I hit a good chip and I should have got that closer. But you got to forget about that and concentrate on the shot you've got coming up. So this is it, five foot for par. Pick your line, head down, wait for the sound. Yeah, snuck it in there. Still two under. You can see that little fist pump there. I was really happy with that. Those last two holes made them a little bit more difficult for myself, but managed to get away with par. So nine, you can just have a free rip. And I absolutely nutted that. Um, so yeah, happy days. One to go. This was, I believe trying to see the color of the grip eight iron so yeah about 150 just pulled it a little left there never really got the fade going on that a little pull and maybe my lines weren't quite right that's what i'm looking at on the ground there but i've got it to this point no trouble all the trouble was on the right hand side of this hole with the water that separates 9 and 18 so this i'm not even trying to hold just get it up there Let's finish this nine holes, two under par. So yeah, sometimes you just have to do that. You're not gonna birdie every single hole. And like I said, the, the goal here was to make pars. And with this little two footer, we've gone ahead and done that. So yeah, the uh, main thing that you should really take from this is knowing your misses, right? So not every um, hole is what we would call like a green light, let's go. Um, from a, any particular yardage. So use that traffic light method. You've probably heard some people talk about that. Um, and know where your misses are. And, and just commit 100% to the shot that you've picked. And you do that, you're going to do really well. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.